you guys heard button batteries. Um, button batteries, this is a sensor. This is a button battery. See? It's got two sides to it, right? It's pretty flat. Huh, no big deal, right? I can go like this. It doesn't hurt my hands. I don't have any problems, right? But if this gets stuck in your food pipe, let's call it your esophagus, like so. Let's put a tube like this. And it can't come down, okay? This is a major problem because the two surfaces, because it's being squished, and on top of that, you're making saliva. Your saliva, you make a lot of saliva, you're constantly swallowing it. If that saliva really is getting stuck and you're irritated and you're making more saliva, that's just a recipe for literal disaster. And so as this stays here, it'll cause some major problems. And so we're gonna we're gonna let this go and we'll come we'll come back to this um, to this ham to see what it looks like in a couple of hours, okay? Okay, four hours have passed. Let's see what happened to our ham esophagus, okay? So four hours has passed, and if you can see here, the the button battery has really started to disintegrate the entire area of ham. It, this is exactly what happens in your esophagus. You see how it's starting to get a hole right here? You see that? And this is so thin now that you can almost make out the little etchings on the battery, okay? So basically, the entire esophagus is broken down now because of this button battery and only four hours has passed. Okay, what does that mean, right? <clears throat> this here is, let's say this is your uh, windpipe or your trachea, okay? The trachea and the esophagus, again, this is our tubular structure, are right next to each other. One is in front of the other, okay? The trachea always has some in, some like thickness and integrity to it. The esophagus is more flat. That's why the button battery is a problem because it's not tubular. So every inch of that, of this, is in contact here, causing a major hole basically in the entire esophagus. As that hole starts to, to, to is starting to be made, the structures around it are now like basically sitting in digestive enzymes. What does that mean? So everything in our digestive system, our mouth, our esophagus, and our stomach has enzymes that break down food. That's how your food gets broken down. And if it's contained in those areas, who cares, right? It's when they get out that they cause major issues. So when it gets out and it makes a hole here in your esophagus, it could also make a hole here in your trachea. And those enzymes start to bathe things around it. So if you have your major arteries, your carotid arteries, your jugular arteries, and every little tributary that comes off of that, it starts to bathe in that too. And those enzymes start to break it down. So this is a really big deal. The goal of this video is to hopefully prevent any of these things from happening, okay? Um, so if you suspect your child has swallowed a button battery, you need to go to the ER like, like right now. I need you to get a chest x-ray immediately because this is an emergent surgery. Time is of the essence. As you saw what happened in four hours to this thing, you can just imagine what this happens if it takes longer, okay? One thing you could do while you're waiting, you could give your kid honey or sugar water. Those things have been shown to, to decrease the uh, progression but don't wait on that. Go to the ER anyway. And some kids don't even like honey. Just go to the ER. I guess that's my real point here because time was really of the essence. And if you have these little button batteries laying around, please get rid of them or put them in places where your child cannot reach them, okay?